Alright, what's up? This is Wayne Barron with Dark Effects here to bring you a different type of instructional video. Well, this one right here is, um, this is my 81.5 bird. I bought this uh, about probably six months, I think. Uh, probably not even that long. Probably about four months before my son was born. And uh, he was born October 16th, 1993. And, uh, well, I've sort of... Uh, let the car go for a while and I'm in the process of getting ready to start the restoration of it and so the first thing that I've done is I had to change the ignition switch and I'm going to tear everything apart again and show you how to do it so that people that need to do this to a Firebird and I believe the same thing can be it can be done to Firebird, Trans Ams, um, the Grand Prix and maybe possibly even the Khmer. It depends on if they are all set up like this one is. And so, but anyway, as you can see, man, this thing is, is old. A lot of the inside this car is going to have to be uh, taken out and replaced with brand new stuff. And I've already got um, a catalog from, I think it's Classic Restorations or something like that. And I'm going to be ordering you about everything from there, including new sterile wheel. And so but anyway, uh, what we're going to do here is that we're going to rip everything apart. And we're going to change the ignition switch. And so uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. We got three screws here. We got one here, here, and here. And these screws are, that's fine. These are, uh, I believe, let me make sure here. Uh, give me one second. That's what I thought. Ah, here we go. These are seven millimeters or 932. And so, uh, you got three of them. Like I said, you got one right here, one right here, and one right here. So once you get them three off, then you can just pull this apart. Uh, this wire right here is for your horn. And so you can't just jerk it out. Just got to set it aside for right now and uh, somewhere. And then the next thing that we want to do is find my other socket here. We got to take off this nut. Okay, got the nut off. Let me get this set back up. Okay, now get all this put back together. Uh, most people are used to watching my my videos and so forth on uh, After Effects, Photoshop and so forth, but my first passion is working on cars. And even though some of the family members for some odd reason think I don't enjoy it, but you know, whatever. I've always enjoyed working on cars, especially mine. And so, um, to get this firebird back on the road again is a dream. But anyway, there she goes. And um, now since I've had this off just a little while ago, it was real easy to pop off. Sometimes it's just a little bit harder to get off. Set this over yonder. Pull this out. Make sure we don't mess up our wire here and then remove that. So let me set this over here on the side. Okay, now the next thing we've got to do is that we've got to remove this. Now this pulley system right here, I had to uh, do the red tool from uh, AutoZone. My son brings my drink. Thank you. And um, so I had to borrow this from AutoZone. Pay, basically pay $20 for it plus tax. And so uh, then I can get your money back whenever you take it back in. 
So what you do is that you um, you assemble this unit, pop out this pin right here, and then you're able to put this in yonder like so. And then you put it back in yonder. And then you set this here, screw it in yonder. Then you take this wing nut. tighten it down. Let's back off from this. It didn't sit right. Don't want to mess up nothing. There she goes. Okay. Now, uh, this is a, done a lot easier if you've got a pair of these pliers that ain't uh, that are like that so that you can squeeze them and they open up on their own and they've got little hooks on them. Unfortunately I've got a pair just don't know where they're at and uh, you're not really going to be able to see this but anyway there's a ring nut or not a ring nut but there's a a, um, um, a keeper here and you just need to There she goes. Alright. So then we take this off. Last time that this was actually taken apart, besides me taking it apart a little while ago, was uh, uh, my dad took it apart years ago to replace this part right here. And, um,. Anyway, there's your ring, and so I uh, want to make sure you don't break it, and also make sure you don't misplace it. Okay, now you pull this through right here to the side somewhere, and then you got this right here, you pull it off to the side. Now, let's uh, zoom in here. Okay, we got a screw here. A screw here, a screw here, and a screw here. Your hazard light over here, you need to push it in and unscrew it. So, and that's for our hazard light. Set it aside over here. And this right here is for our turn signal. Side. Okay, now we've got a screw here. And these little blue ones here. Set it aside. Go down here. Get this one loose. Side. And then we got this one right here. And then set it aside. Okay. Now, there's two ways of doing this. You can remove, I believe, remove this bracket here to release the wire harness that's in the back here. However, that's not what I'm going to do here. So, uh, it's okay. The screw that we're going after here, if you look at the ignition switch, or it's called the ignition lock, and you can see this screw is sitting right there. Okay, that's the one that we want to go for here. Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and get back to this thing. 
Okay, so what we want to do here, sorry, because I'm losing light. I got this thing sitting out here up underneath the trees because the landlord, this ignorant person, said that I could use this garage whenever we moved here, and he lied. What he did was that he wanted us to move into place so bad that he just lied to us to get us in here. But anyway, unscrew this screw here. Okay, get it unscrewed. And pull the screw out like so. Okay, and then take your ignition switch out. Okay, once you take it out, you want to make sure that you put it back in exactly the same. It only goes in one way. It's got a little groove over here on the side where your little black part goes. As you can see, I'll show you here. Okay, um, you got. All right, there we go. See that groove going down the side of your ignition switch? That's going to be going towards the bottom. So basically, it's going to go in like so. So then you just take it, stick it back in yonder like that, and then it will automatically put your lock in the lock position. And then take your screw, put this back, set it back in yonder. Screw it back down. Use a little muscle on that joker. Make sure it goes right. There you go. See as this part right here goes in and out. That's lock your steering wheel, unlock your steering wheel. I'll let you know that you got your ignition switch in there good. So now the only thing that is left is going in here and putting all your screws back in. So you want to make sure that you got everything set right and then first one up top here second one and then your third one here on there. Make sure that everything's nice and sturdy here. There she goes. And now put on your turn signal. Make sure you gotta turn the right way. Slide your screw or bolt or whatever it is that you have for yours. Tighten it up. Test it first. Okay, it's going to your left. It's going to your right. So back in the center. Okay, now take this part, set it back. That's where your horn. That's about where you want it to be at. About right up in there. And then take your. Uh, Okay, so you want to make sure that your grooves, as you can see your grooves in here, you can see there's a notch right here. Make sure that they line up with the notch that's there. If not, then it won't go on and it'll mess up. Let's get this on here. Okay. 
Okay, now. Alright, let's get this sucker back on here. Hopefully this will go on easier than what it did the first time. The first time it was a real pain in the butt. So let's get, get this part up over. That went on a lot nicer. Slide it on down yonder into its groove. All right, that was easy. So then we open it up. And that can go back in here. It's no longer needed. Okay, now we got that done. The only thing that we need to do now is hook in our uh, steering wheel here. So the first thing we do Blinding me. And don't forget your emergency. We need the emergency. Bring it back over here. Screw it in. Okay, that works. Then you just take your steering wheel and uh, hook it back up. Okay, and that's basically it, and that's how you do it.